about today's video. It's not going to be like the other ones, guys. It's not going to be your Roblox zombie. Your, your, uh, we, uh, I don't know. What else do I do on this channel? <laughs> well, starting today, we're going to be doing the gummy versus real food challenge. I got a whole lot of stuff right here. You can't see any of it from the angle you're looking, but you'll see in a second. Real quick though, before we get into it, you guys request videos like this all the time. And if you saw my Bean Boozled challenge, I said the same thing about how I want to kind of keep this more or less a gaming channel. I'm more than open to the ideas of like challenges and stuff every now and then, but a lot of you were really, really asking for things like, you know, challenges, DIYs, and uh, like those kinds of videos. So what I ended up doing is I opened a new channel and it's called Fun Lab. There is a link in the description below to that. I uh, highly encourage you guys to go check it out. There's going to be this exact type of content on there. Go ahead and show some love, but uh, why, don't we, uh, why don't we jump into it? We got a boatload of stuff. Well, you know, why don't we start with a, why don't we start with a pizza? You start with a pizza, why don't you? I got two boxes here, okay? One is a real pizza, and one is a gummy pizza. Can we guess which one the real pizza is. I don't know, can you? Is it obvious? No, it's not obvious at all. I don't think you can tell at all which one's the real one. Well, why don't we do a bit of a, a bit of a reveal? There, and I'll, to really get that surface area. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, in three, two, one. Hold on, this one isn't opening. You still can't see from that angle. <laughs> Whoa! What do we got? What do we got, ladies and gentlemen? Well, as you can see, in my opinion, the gummy pizza is in the more realistic looking box. It came in a box, guys. How cool is that? And so I decided that I would order a pizza. I actually can't eat pizza because I'm lactose intolerant, so I can't have the cheese. But, uh, you know, for the sake of this video... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Look at that. It's as if nothing is missing from the pizza. You can barely tell what piece I just took out. Well, that's just great. Man. Okay, here we go. It didn't happen that time. <laughs> Oh, that's good. Mm. Okay, you know what? Fine. Fine. For the sake of the challenge, since we're actually comparing the foods. There you go. Mmm. Oh, I love pizza. It was such a shame that I became lactose intolerant. You know how common of a thing that is? People can have milk their entire lives or dairy, whatever. Gradually over time, you just can't anymore. So if you can have dairy products, um, enjoy it while you can, because you might not get it forever. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do a little bit of a rating system here. So I would give the real pizza so far. We had a lot of texture. The ingredients were spot on. Um, despite now, now it's gonna have to lose a point for the cheese just slipping off, because everyone hates whenever that happens to their pizza. So I'm going to give it a. That wasn't meant to be a one. I was just pointing up. Seven out of eight. It was a pretty good pizza. I would heavily enjoy that pizza if I could. <laughs> Round two. On to the gummy pizza, which I should mention has a extremely strong smell of gummy orange. I don't know if, if I can, oh, it's so sticky. If I can like lift this up. You can't really take a, a slice off. Like, look at that. It's just holding up, it's holding up the whole thing. Peel this pizza off. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, there you go, there's your pizza. I'm gonna bite from right here because there's a little bit of yellow, a little bit of green, a little bit of red. Get the whole mixture in there. There you go. Hey, that's not bad. And I usually don't eat very much, uh, very much candy or like gummies for that matter. Hey, not bad at all. I was like expecting not to enjoy that. I was pretty ready to like, I, I don't know, that really threw me off. I wasn't, I kind of want like, here, hold on. I'll the orange off first. Okay, let's try the white. The white does introduce a new flavor. I can't say I'm a fan. I can't say I'm a fan of the white. The orange part was the part that I was expecting to like the least. Hmm. I would say the gummy pizza is gonna be a very solid, a very solid five out of seven. It's good. 
It's way better than I expected, but I don't see myself eating any more of it than what I already have. <laughs> you know what, I, I'm sure that for those of you out there that do like gummy food, it might just be my personal taste of not li liking the cheese part as much. You know what, it's a pretty good product. I can vouch for the gummy pizza. I can say, you know what, gummy pizza not that bad. It actually tastes kind of good. Before we get carried away, Let's move on to uh, let's move on to some more gummies. We got a whole load of stuff. Giant gummy cola bottle. Check that out, dude. Of course, if I have a gummy cola bottle, I would need to get a normal cola bottle with me as well. Um, this is gonna hold on. It's gonna, it's gonna take a second to to open. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. And you know what? They make things like even bigger than this. This is by no means like the largest gummies available. If you check out Fun Lab, link in the description below, by the way, uh, there is more than likely probably going to be like much, much, much larger scale gummy projects than what's going on here. So be on the lookout for that. Oh man, this is like hard. It's a hard gummy. My hands are getting all icky. <laughs> You can smell the cola. That is crazy. It kind of reminds me immediately the smell reminds me of like those um, They look like little metal spheres little orbs, but they're uh, they're like coca-cola flavored things little pebbles I usually don't drink uh, soft drinks either so everything here is very abnormal to me pizza gummy food soft drinks Ugh. Terrible for you guys. Don't do it. I have had Coke before. I'm not surprised. <laughs> I'm not surprised by the taste or anything. The whole point of me having it first is so that I like fully refresh my memory of exactly what it tastes like. And then we move on to the cola bottle. So real Coke, I'm going to have a give it a... <laughs> Are we rating things based at all on nutritional value? I would say probably not because that wouldn't make much sense considering we're dealing with gummy foods. <laughs> well, let's see. Extremely refreshing drink. Uh, delicious, but it is terrible for you. <laughs> so I don't know. It's hard. If we're just doing like taste and enjoyment level, I'm going to give a Coke a very solid three out of four. But now if we move... <sighs> I have a pretty good feeling that uh, uh, this isn't going to go down very well. What gummies are hard? <laughs> it doesn't taste very much like Coke. It's like it has that Coke vibe. <laughs> I need another taste test. It's like the candy version of Coke. If Coke was a candy, I mean, I guess that's essentially what this is. That's really the best way I can describe it. Is like if you just picture Coca-Cola but in candy form. I guess this is more comparable to those little like silver Coke spheres that I was talking about earlier. That's more comparable to this than this is to actual Coca-Cola. I don't know, it's not bad. It's okay, it's all right. <clears throat> yeah, hmm. The Coca-Cola gummy bottle we're gonna be giving today, ladies and gentlemen, a 486 out of 499. There you go. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, the world's largest gummy bear. Whoa! 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 This thing is massive! <laughs> Oh my goodness! Unleash the beast! It's like I'm peeling off his skin. Oh no. You guys like this? Is some good ASMR for you? I proudly present to you as a little bonus. The largest gummy bear in the world. <laughs> I have nothing to compare it to. I can't compare it to, uh, like, I don't know, real bear meat. Mmm. Oh. Oh, so much. There's, like, so much volume of gummy all at once. Mmm. Oh! Whoa! That's really good. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of, um, 
You know that that candy? I don't remember what it's called. It's like gummy, but it's like stringy. It's like a long rod, but you can peel it into the little strings, and it's red. It's like same flavor as this. Oh. So usually, you bite the head off of a gummy bear. At least that's what I do. I don't know. Seems like the normal thing to do. We can't even do that with this one. It's just physically impossible. That's pretty good. You know what? Honestly, pleasantly surprised. I don't know what I'm gonna do with all this gummy food. Oh no, ew, greasy hands, gross, gross. I think that's a, uh, oh no! We're not done just yet. Should I make this more like a surprise? Little, little reveal? Ooh, yes, soothing sounds, mmm. Mmm, ooh. <laughs> yeah. The world's largest gummy worm, ooh. Yes, yes, very good, very good. Man, this thing is massive. Do we do one of those things where like, you know how like in, um, in school, kids would take a towel and then like whack people? <laughs> Ugh, so much gummy. No, oh, I feel like I'm gonna be sick after this. I wanna know the calorie count of this one gummy. We can actually check. It's 120 calories per 40 gram serving. Approximately five pounds. Okay, well, I can't do that sort of math in my head, but you know what? This is pretty good. I would say this side of the worm is a similar taste to the gummy bear. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Ah, so much gummy. I'm definitely gonna be sick. Ew, ew, oh, <laughs> no. This side of the worm, garbo, garbo worm. But this side, good worm. <laughs> I legitimately don't know what to do with the rest of this stuff. Cause I, I don't want it, like I don't want to eat this. It's too much. That's one of those things. Maybe I'll, I'll feed it to the dogs. I'm just kidding, don't feed your dog gummies. I'm gonna go wash my hands. I can't even touch my setup because of how just gross, gross this is. So I'll be right back. <sighs> All right. Oh my goodness, what a mess. What a mess, look at this, huh? Uh, all these guys gummy all this gummy food. It's too much Too much gummy for one man. I'm telling you ladies and gentlemen. I would like to uh, I'd like to give a friendly reminder about Kids fun lab the brand new channel as I said link in the description below if you'd like to go ahead and check it out for yourself I'm so excited about what's to come on that channel and everyone involved is just the best and it's exactly this kind of stuff, guys. And so that's kind of the point I really wanted to get across is like, this isn't an everyday thing for me on, on this channel and I think you all know that, but, and that's exactly why we made Kids Fun Lab. So go ahead and check it out. So excited for that channel. And uh, on that note though, guys, again, I'd like to thank you so much for joining me for another video. If you enjoyed, please remember to leave the video a like, maybe even subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, hey, there you are, Sir Meowzal, where have you been? Yeah, I could have I could have really used help with all this gummy candy. Well, anyways, though, guys, you can get them at DennisDaily.com. Link in the description below if you'd like to check them out for yourself. But other than that, again, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.